Okay, here's part two of my video on the spark plugs on a 2022 two liter gas uh, turbo sprinter. Of course, it's gas because it's got spark plugs. But anyway, all right, the toughest, this is actually, you know, an 800 and something dollar job, $885 from Sprinter quoted this week. And I couldn't bear it, so I had to do it myself, no matter how painful. But so I'm not done yet. I just wanted to give you an update, a couple of tricks that I learned along the way. This little clip is a lock clip. The hardest part so far has been taking this clip off the air box. The air box, as you know, is sitting over here now. So another little tip, um, disconnecting this. You could do it here or in the other position, but this little air box wire, as you know, is a stubborn little bugger. But this is actually the, the, the blonde looking piece of plastic here, the light, white one here is a lock that sits on top of this. And you can see that little tiny tooth that I'm trying to touch right there with my far finger is sitting under that noose there. That's got to come out a little bit because the real lock is that tab underneath. Hang on. Sorry, I don't have multiple hands. It's this tab right here where my thumb is going to push. This is my thumb. You have to push that down. Oops, into the unit. That's the real lock. So the, the, top, the top is like a safety lock. So once that's done, you pop that out, get a mini screwdriver and just pry that little noose, that little hoop there, up over the blonde plastic lock, get that out of the way. You can back out a little or you can get a screwdriver underneath there, a little baby one, and push that button down. Then she'll slip off. Okay, trick number two. You don't want this hose in your way the whole time. So all I did, I disconnected it from the mirror box obviously, but all I did was also loosen it down here, disconnected it here, and see, you could cut the zip ties. You got more, I'm sure. And you can just, but you don't have to, you can just rotate it. Oops, didn't mean to abuse the wire there, but one hand, oops. Okay, I just rotated it to sit on that shelf back there. So that little bugger is not gonna annoy you the whole time. There's not a lot of stress on this wire. You could just cut that zip tie and release some stress, but okay. Then you've got this cover, the rubber like sound cover. This thing is made it on there pretty nicely, but it's actually very friendly. The toughest part, I recommend starting in the farthest point. I have a little stool here, a little baby footstool, which helps. Start in the farthest corner and it is pinched. That rubber cover is pinched underneath this hose. You can slide this, slide this out of the way that way and then just leverage up that far corner and slide her out. So you haven't had to take anything else out off except for the air box and get this hose out of the way. And then, uh, oh, the air box, I pinched this to get that out. You could disconnect it at the lower unit, but um, it's fine the way I did it. You kind of want to pull up out of these rubber, rubber grommets. It um, just sits on these rubber things here. It's quite easy, pretty self-explanatory. Um, oh, and the tab on the side, oh, these tabs, there's two of them, one oil and one not. There's a tab on the air box. You'll see it. It's, it flexes one way real easily, and that's the lock. It's on the bottom side for the oil fill right over here and for this thing. Just little tabs underneath. Just flex it slightly, and it'll slide right up and off. Very simple. Okay, so the rubber thing, you've started prying it from the farthest corner. You got this corner free from that, and then just pry it gently all the way around slowly, and she just lifts right off like a nice piece of wet bread <laughs> so I'm gonna clean that up nice um, and here's my first spark plug pull so it has the two T uh, what do you call it T wrench or Torx tips which you have a set of already and I don't remember the size but you'll figure it out uh, it's easy um, so this came out quite easily just be gentle not to torque it these are almost like handles these little lips so get your fingers on these like handles and I just took it out and wiped it with a rag. It had a little grit on it. So the other thing that I'm doing, which some people do and some people don't, I guess, is I'm blowing out the hole before I pull the plug with some compressed air. Now, cautionary tip, some shit shot out of there like a little BB gun. So have your eyeglasses on, your protective eyewear, and or close your eyes or shield your face or something. It shot out of there pretty good and peppered my face. Um, so I'll do another shot right now while you're here, but hope it's not too loud. But I'm just kind of blowing the dirt out. Um, I was trying not to use crazy pressure, but um, I don't know. I don't want it to, you know, do anything too weird. 
but you can see the plug down there. It is a thin wall socket. It's a 14 millimeter. I had to buy one. I didn't have one that skinny. But um, so far, so good. I'll have another part to this video shortly. But again, just two Torx bit tips. You can see them here. And this sucker slid right off, very friendly like. And we are going to replace the first plug and the, it's 23 Newton meters of torque on the plugs. And I got new plugs. I'll have a source down below. I've got, I think the best price place in the country for Mercedes parts. And I got these plugs for 17 and change a piece, which is kind of unheard of. The dealer wants, you know, 32 bucks or more. You'll see them for 35 and more. Anyway, I hope that helps you guys. Um, appreciate any likes and subscribes. Again, this is part two. I already had part one as a preliminary, and we will have part three and four with other things I run into as needed. Talk to you guys later. Again, appreciate it. I got a bunch of other videos coming up too, and look in my sprinter section. Lots of stuff. Thanks. Bye.